Good morning. Salut tout le monde. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Thanks for joining me on the channel, Blue Sky Nancy. And as promised, I am bringing you today a video to review all the gear that I'm planning to take on the Appalachian Trail. But before I do that review, I think I owe you all a slight update on the situation. If you watched the last video, you will uh, know already that I delayed the start of the Appalachian Trail from the planned March start to a date TBD due to the fact that Jacques, my um, boyfriend, had some health issue and I really wanted to be with him. So um, the update is good. Jacques does not have any cancer, which we thought for a while we didn't know. But after many tests and weeks have gone by, he is um, slated to have a surgery, but it is a minor surgery and expected to recover fully pretty quickly within a couple of weeks after the surgery. So if indeed this is the case, then I'm optimistic. We're both optimistic that I will be able to hit the trail mm, probably the first week of June thereabouts. So I'm excited and uh, happy that Jack will recover. I mean, this is obviously the most important thing. We're very grateful. Um, still have a few weeks to go through, but again, optimistic that he will fully recover and then I can hit the trail. So what I'm gonna do though is gonna be a little different. Instead of doing um, the traditional no bow, so northbound from uh, Springer Mountain in Georgia all the way to Maine, I'm going to do a, what they call a flip-flop. So the flip-flop, I think I mentioned it on the last video too, but the flip-flop will be instead of starting south and going all the way north, I'm going to start in the middle and then go north to the end, flip back to the middle and then go south. That's why they call it a flip-flop. So yeah, this is this is the plan right now. Um, looking forward to hopefully hit the trail, which um, you will know in my next video because after this gear review, the next video will be day zero. So basically me getting to Harper's Ferry, I'll share that with you. And then day one will be, I'll try to do a video as I said every day after that. So anyway, that's the update. And uh, so now I'm going to pause, I'm going to get my gear, and then uh, we'll stop the, the, the review. Okay, so the first thing to show you is what's referred to as the big three. The backpack, the tent, and the sleep system. So let's start with the backpack. So my backpack of toys is the Osprey. And the model is the Aja 58. I chose this backpack after trying very many. This one fits me well. And that's the most important thing when you're trying to select a backpack. What works for somebody that they might absolutely love, it's not necessarily going to work for you. We all have different body shape. And so when going to try a backpack you really have to see how it feels i mean i remember when i bought this one at the store you know they load it up with with weight and you really have to test it so i like this one because it is light uh, let's see it weighs 46 ounce so about 2.8 pound so not the lightest it's not an ultra light backpack by no means but it is still not too bad and it has a this you know if you can see here on the side there but it's got a really nice frame and it's all meshed it's all mesh so when you're hiking you get sweaty 
the, the it allows for air to flow through. Let's uh, see, like you can see that there's a gap right there, so it allows the air to flow through, and it makes it very comfortable to to wear. The strap system and the belt, everything fitted great for me. And in fact, I, I used this backpack for the first time on a long distance hike when I did the West Coast Trail last September. By the way, if you haven't seen this video, you can see how, um, well, you can watch the whole uh, experience that we had, which was an amazing uh, hike. It was about seven days um, and about 75 miles, so 100K. And we carried, we had to carry because you couldn't uh, exit, go to a town like we will be able to do on the Appalachian Trail. We had to carry seven days worth of food. So I was carrying about almost 10 pounds of food and water and um, all the gear that I had to. So I think I got the pack weighed in total with the food about 28 pounds. And though it, the pack felt heavy when you just like picked it up like this, once I had it on my back and well adjusted, honestly, it was amazing. So this, for me, that hike was a really good test, a good shakedown hike. And I can, I can be comfortable that this pack will work for me for the Appalachian Trail and carry all the weight that I, you know, that I need to carry. So some of the features, apart from this frame at the back that I like, is it has a belt, you know, with the side pocket. The, the side pocket here are really deep and they have a dual entry. So you can go from the top, but can also go from the back. So if you wanted to carry a water, a big water bottle, you could actually put it here and still be able to reach it uh, from the side, which is good. So it has that on each side. Um, and then of course it has a brain, which can be removed, but I use the brain on the West Coast Trail to put all my wet water gear. So my pack cover would be in there. And I'll show you later after I reviewed all the gear, how I pack my pack and uh, where I put things as well. So, but I like the brain. The, inside the brain, there is also a uh, little zip area there that you can put things in. And the front has a big, large pocket too, where you can put things. And um, the for me on the strap, I added the cell phone, and this is a, a hyper light. Uh, Hyperlight, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, Hyperlight, it's waterproof. So I put my cell phone in there and I have a, a water bottle holder, which is not on it right now, but I usually attach it. So what I'll do is put a small smart water bottle, which I will uh, have accessible right here at the front and then have the bigger smart water bottle on the side so anyway um again i i use this pack on the on the west coast trail and it worked really good so if you want to see how the packs like sat and felt and and felt or looked on me check out the video and uh you know that will give you an idea on that one there so that's the first and that is the osprey eja so let's put that to the side and the next thing and the big three is my tent. So the tent that I decided to go for is the Big Agnes Copper Spur UL2. I will put a picture um, up here on the video so you can see what the tent looks like when it's fully up. But it's a dual, dual um, wall tent. It can sleep two people. It has um, a canopy and a vestibule on both sides. And I particularly went for a two person because I want to be able to bring my backpack inside with me. And if at any time Jacques decides to, you know, do a little stretch with me, then there's room for another person. And we each have a vestibule to put our pack in. So it's still protected from the rain. 
And in the sun, the, the, the fly cover can be pulled on uh, and stretched, and you'll see in the picture, can be stretched to be um, a, a, um, a sun, like a, a sun protection. So anyway, I love the, I, I get, that's the, that's the tent that I used on the West Coast Trail. It held really well. It held up really good on rain, wind. My cousin Lucien has the exact same one and you love yours, Lucien. Yeah? It's, it's a great tent. So this is the, the, the two uh, piece. I, it can, can be compacted much more than this too because it's so light. But that's the, the, the inner and the outer in a wall and outer wall poles. And this is the um, footprint and the pegs that I carry with me there too. So that's my tent. That's what I'll be starting with. The tent, Big Agnes Copper Spur, is about 44 ounce. So similar to the backpack, both of those. So sleep system. Okay, sleep system. My pad is the Nemo. Tensor. Great, great. Really love this. Packs into such a small volume wise. Very small. What does it weigh? Uh, Nemo Tensor insulated. It's got a 4.2 R value and it is 18 ounce. Just a little bit over a pound. So easy to pack as well. And it was comfortable. A little noisy. But, you know, a lot of them, it has like this foil system inside. So when you move, it kind of gives you like a little crunchy chip feeling. But I'm very happy with it. I slept well on that. So that's the um, sleeping mat. I am going to bring also this Thermarest Z-Line to put under my mat. I didn't have this on the West Coast Trail and I didn't need it. I was planning on taking this because again, when if I started in March, it, it gives you a little bit of extra insulation and then it doubles up as a seat because you can be like when it's folded like this, you can sit on it and it's kind of nice or you can open it up and you can have a little surface to sit and not having sand or dirt or whatever so but i am not sure if i'm going to bring it i have a smaller version of it which can be used for just sitting but um it's like it weighs nothing and it could be handy to have so this one not 100 percent sure if i'll take it or not but likely i will definitely adds insulation um for if it's cold weather but Starting in June, I may not need that. So, so that's the sea rest. I am also, I was planning on taking a Sea to Summit um, Traveler Silk Liner. This really saves you um, from making your sleeping quilt uh, dirty. <laughs> and you can wash this and keep your quilt or your sleeping bag it also adds warmth again was going to take that for sure starting in march nah mm, i'm not 100 percent sure i think i might still take it it doesn't again weigh very much see to summit six ounces for this little guy here so i'll, I'll, I'll see whether i decide to take it or not then I have pillows and um, I have two pillows. Yeah. So one can be considered a luxury item. Will, I'll, will I take both? Maybe I'll see how much I weigh in the end when I do my pack. I might try to just take one. So this one is the Trichology Pillow 2.0 super small and light and this one is the hiking adventure ultra light pillow this one is jacques actually <laughs> this one was mine so why two because if i'm a side sleeper or even on my back i like to just have a pillow underneath my 
uh, knees if I'm on my back and if I'm, if I'm sleeping on my side, I'm actually putting this in between. My, it allows for my back to stay in good order. So the little extra weight might be a good idea. That being said, I could try to use a bag of my bag of clothes or something else, my puffy. So it may be that if I need to cut weight, I will just bring one of the pillows, but those are pillows of choice for me as well. So those are the pillows. And then finally, the most important item, this is my quilt. So I will take it out and show you uh, after, but this is a enlightened equipment. I will tell you how much it weighs. Enlightened equipment Enigma. It's a 950 fill and it's a minus 10 degree Fahrenheit. So minus 12 C and it's a 10 uh, denier. So that's the, the, the fabric uh, durability measurement. It weighs 21 ounces. So a little over a pound. Is that right? Let me see. Um, enlightened equipment, 21 ounces. Yeah, so 1.3 pound. Super light. That's what I had again in, in um, on the West Coast Trail. Slept really well. It's a quilt, not a sleeping bag. I slept really well um, with that. And uh, I had bought it again for a March start. June zero degree probably don't need that but being a quilt i could i don't have to wrap it around my my uh sleeping pad and just lay it over and if i try to buy another one that will be a zero degree i'm not sure how much weight i'll save and to be honest this quilt was so expensive like i don't really want to spend money on buying another one so i don't know so it's goose feather that's why it's like and the important thing with those is you can't get them wet hence why it's in this uh, waterproof bag it's a bonfus bonfus i'm not sure if, I pron if i'm pronouncing it right but that's the the brand there and this is a, a fully waterproof because it can't not get wet and what i also have is a a liner for my backpack. So if it's raining, um, I have a pack cover, which I'll show you uh, in a little bit. I have a pack cover because my backpack is water resistant, but certainly not waterproof. So I have a pack cover, but in addition to that, I have a Nile Flume, that's the name of the brand, um, bag that I put inside the pack, which is waterproof. And then everything, including the that I don't really want to not get wet, like the sleeping bag, goes inside the Nioflum bag. Again, I'll show you later when I pack the bag, um, the backpack, how it goes. So this is the big three. So it looks like we've got uh, a lot of video footage here. So I'm going to stop this first video here if you like the format and you want to know more go to the next video and uh, you can see the rest of the gear that I'm taking on the Appalachian Trail thank you